Yeah, so uh, I want to show you something real quick uh, I've been working on over the last few days. Um, I purchased Blitzmax, which is sort of a, um, a, a scripting layer uh, on top of C++. Yeah, it's all object oriented, so all the uh, powerful methods and things you can get with uh, C++ are retained. Uh, it's extremely powerful and it's primarily designed uh, uh, to create 2D games, yeah. Um, it also has the ability to create 3D games with uh, Max 3D, if that's what you would like to do. Um, and the game itself is called Orion's Gate, and uh, it, uh, it, it, the idea is to create a online, uh, a massive multiplayer online, uh, real-time strategy game. Um, you know, sort of in a Command and Conquer-like uh, 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 sort of thing, but. Online, there's no uh, AI. There's the, there. It's all. It's all. It's, uh, they're all humans in there. That's ba that's basically the idea. But uh, I worked on this about two years ago, and I couldn't really figure out a lot of things. I, it has to do with Objective C, and I was working with a GNU step, and uh, it apparently doesn't have the um, uh, the ability to do hardware acceleration on on the graphic it, it displays. Yeah, so uh, I was really happy when I found uh, Blitz Max, which uh, which does what I want to do. And one thing I need the game to have is sort of a user interface uh, inside the game. Yeah, and uh, this user interface I'm calling UI. Yeah, uh, it's sort of a Unix acronym, uh, uh, and it's uh, it stands for uh, UI user interface, and it's named after UI Hirazawa from uh, Kion, a fantastic anime show uh, that you really should watch if you like anime. Uh, yeah, I, w I want to show you real quick... Um, I, I, haven't, I haven't defined this yet. Uh, I want to show you something real quick that I've been working on over the uh, past few days. And uh, th there you see the logo. Uh, you have a little window here and uh, uh, it, it, this doesn't do much but the buttons react, as you see. Yeah, that's pre uh, that's what I've uh, been coding uh, in the moment. This button uh, opens another window, and you can drag this around. Uh, there's a little delay in there that makes this possible because apparently uh, the mouse speed X and Y are too fast to uh, accurately um, get the mouse position. It's as you can see, it's not entirely perfect, but it's working quite well. Yeah. And uh, um, you have to click the mi middle mouse button to to switch between the windows. Yeah. Uh, another thing you can you can define is whether or not the windows are movable uh, or closable. Yeah. So if I go into my code real quick here, it's in the login, uh, and the window is defined here. I'll, uh, let me re uh, check the window code real quick. Uh, there are three parameters to uh, uh, what you can do with a window. Um, it's closable, movable, and hidden. Hidden is sort of like it's still there, but not displayed. Sort of like when I would like do this. It's still there, but you can't see it. I would have to do something in order to make it visible again. Uh, movable would be the second parameter. So if I uh, go here and uh, now define this as yes, w uh, yes is one and no is zero, which are global integers I defined. Uh, it's sort of a habit from GNUSEP or Coco, really. Um, if you go here and you will now see that this window is movable now, which it, it shouldn't be in the final game, but I can now move it around and another thing it does is, or it has to do, is that once I move it, uh, it will also update uh, the rectangles on which buttons operate. Yeah. Um, another thing you can, you can actually define is whether or not the window is closable. Uh, and uh, you do that with uh, with the first parameter here. Uh, if I were to say yes on on this one here, um, then uh, the window becomes closable. See, there's a little X, which we really want don't want to do. Yeah, um, yeah. So that that's that's that. Another thing I uh, want to show you is that uh, the interface itself is customizable in in many ways. Yeah. So if I were to go into my uh, into the configuration file of the game, which is uh, stored under config, and it's an XML file, I found a mod for uh, Blitz Max that uh, reads XML. So uh, if I were to change the color to something real crazy, say uh, uh, 200 around here, the red value to 200, uh, it will read these values, and suddenly the color. Of the window will become something, some really crazy, yeah, something like that, and it will, 
then change the uh, 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 the, uh, uh, the the active and inactive states. Yeah, you can see the buttons are also tinted because they are uh, alpha blended on the window. Yeah, um, I'm working on uh, on thi uh, uh, another thing is that like uh, uh, the inactive window won't react, and if you switch windows with the middle mouse button here, middle mouse button, um, see if this is active, uh, those buttons here won't react. Yeah, so you will have to effectively switch the window in order to uh, to have the buttons uh, react and, and do something. Yeah, uh, In my game there are 50 windows that uh, can be opened at any time and I think 50 windows should be enough for any game but obviously uh, uh, you can change that to anything you want. Um, the reason why I'm saying is that you can change it is because uh, the user interface library I'm planning to make open source yeah so uh, you can uh, change this field here uh, this this array here to uh, to have any uh, as much windows as you like if you can afford the memory um, yeah but that's pretty much it that's uh, that's all I wanted to show you in the moment it's a work in progress and I haven't gotten very far in a week but uh, yeah so that's uh, the UE interface in the moment uh, it's very minimalistic it will not have any sort of uh, arrow effects but uh, it, it will not do like, uh, uh, you know, what you would have with uh, like an arrow where you have like like this, yeah. It will just uh, really do that and that's it, yeah. And um, it will switch windows and you can have elements in here. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, I'll see you later, guys.